There's a lot of dangerous airports in the world, many of them posing far more danger than others. Fortunately, nearly all of them are available in Flight Simulator 2020, so it's entirely possible to try your hands at them. Let's take a look. Choosing among all the dangerous airports in the world isn't the easiest task, as there are so many. For that reason then, I decided to focus on just two in this video. One is certainly a challenge to land at, whilst the other isn't so much a challenge as visually interesting. Now, there's definitely a joke in here somewhere about attempting a dangerous landing in the rather sedate Cessna 172. There's a reason for that, it's pretty simple. I don't have enough experience with airliners or jets to attempt these type of landings with that type of plane. But even still, that might make for a fun video at some point. At any rate, what you're looking at here is Isafjordur Airport in Iceland. And I'm sure you can immediately see the challenge with this particular place. There's no direct way to approach the airport. The approach from the east is completely blocked by the land, meaning the only way to approach the runway is from the west whilst flying eastward. But due to the fact that this is located in a bay with very high surrounding land, you have to fly into a traffic pattern and follow the bay around. On the final turn, this usually means getting very close to the land. So this is the very first time I've attempted this landing. I wanted to show you my first time on this regardless of how I did. That said, whilst I've never landed here before, I have watched a few real world approaches on YouTube and seeing the large planes come in here really is an amazing sight. The initial part of the approach really didn't seem to be too difficult. If you keep aligned with the, land, the rising landscape here on the right, you will automatically, more or less, be automatically parallel with the runway. The really interesting part is the final turn at the end. Now I guess there's a number of ways you can deal with this. One might be to maintain some height and then descend fairly quickly on the final approach to the runway. The other, which I chose, was to fly low over the buildings and the hills, making the final descent a little easier. So I floated a little bit too long there before actually touching down on the runway and not quite central to the runway either. But all in all, pretty good. I'm quite happy with this particular landing, especially with it being my first attempt here in this rather dangerous location. I tell you what, it's going to be interesting learning to do this in an airliner. Another place I wanted to land at was Barra Airport, located on an island in Scotland. You've probably seen landings here at some point. The planes come in and land on the sea's sandbanks at low tide. I did a brief flyover of Barra Island in the flight simulator and I've got to say the Scottish landscape is absolutely beautiful. However, unfortunately to land at Barra you need to wait for the low tide and flight simulator doesn't model low tides. So the landing strip here is permanently underwater. No way to land there then. Moving on to Futenma then in Okinawa. A somewhat controversial runway and a part of the US Marines base situated on the island. Whilst it's certainly not dangerous in the sense of the airport back in Iceland, this one does pose some potential problems due to its extremely close proximity to the local housings and other such buildings. In fact, in some cases, it feels as though they are almost on top of the runway. Coming here to Okinawa is also a great opportunity to see the diverse towns, cities and other locations that Flight Simulator 2020 has to offer. There's just so many different places to see. The approach to this runway is pretty easy, although I took a somewhat poor choice here of turning very very close to the final approach. Anyway, I will leave you to watch the landing. 